So the idea of Sundog came about, um, I don't know, I guess maybe even five years ago now, um, when my oldest son um, spent about 80 days on a wilderness program down in the um, Blue Ridge Mountains of Georgia. It was through that experience that I looked at the community here. In this area, there are a lot of um, team sports, a lot of you know soccer and hockey and baseball and lacrosse, but there really wasn't anything that could touch those kids that didn't quite fit into that mold. Our goal is to um, focus on some core values that we felt were important, integrity, uh, resiliency, confidence, and craftsmanship. I think our Alpine Touring program, which we offered for the first time this winter, is really one of the few programs in the whole country, and we feel really fortunate to be able to offer it as an after-school program to these kids. I, I see this as a program that is filling a gap that is critical for a lot of these kids. That they have something to do after school it keeps them off the screens, keeps them active, keeps them challenging themselves and interacting with um, their community. And it's powerful. Yeah! <laughs> there you go, Leo! You know, it's really fulfilling for me to see that students are outside. Given that we live in such an amazing, wonderful place where we've got this like real treasure trove of, of just phenomenal places to be outside. So I think on two ends, it works really well. We're, we're connecting them with great local adults as the guides who get them outside into these amazing places in the wilderness in Maine. And they're both appreciating the natural world around them while understanding more about who they are as a person. And for that to happen at that early teen years, middle school age years, is just a really crucial point in their life. On the surface, the Sundog program looks like a, a, a program where students are given the opportunity to develop technical skills in the outdoors, you know, those being rock climbing, fat biking, skiing, paddling, what have you. Those are sort of the hard skills, but underneath that, the curriculum that designed really targets more of those, what we consider soft skills. So we do consider this a character development program and we get at that through the curriculum, which each program ideally starts and finishes each after school session with. And I think another thing that ha has come out of Sundog now that we're starting sort of the third operating season is there's also some students who have participated in quite a few different Sundog experiences. We kind of went in together because we were like we didn't know any of the kids and we were just like okay let's let's just try it and it ended up being amazing and yeah I've done eight now so. She has developed a, a love for being outdoors and outdoors pursuits that you know, we, we couldn't be able to provide anywhere near the depth or experience that she's gotten as being, as being involved in Sundog. So like a lot of the conversations that come up aren't necessarily climbing focused. They can be anything in life in general and I like to exercise kind of a mentor role uh, for these kids and that allows me to get to know those kids. It allows them to get to know me. I find that uh, what comes out of that can be really beautiful a lot more so than just kind of like a afternoon program or something that I'm more, more commonly doing. Um, so over the course of the six weeks I've been able to watch every individual in this group just kind of blossom and learn a tremendous amount and then be able to kind of recreate these new skills and, and yeah it's been an absolute pleasure to kind of see that over a longer period of time. The guides like really encourage you, make you want to do this. They're really supportive and if you can't do something they're like okay let's work around what you can't do and work with it. In addition to being a super fun activity they're going to gain some life skills and some confidence throughout the program, as well as lots of new friends. It's really amazing to guide the kids, um, the 5th and 6th graders and the 7th and 8th graders. 
After a few sessions, everyone is buddies and talking to each other and there's no groups or cliques within the program at all. Everyone is friends with each other and that's really special to see, especially because the kids come from all over the area. Sometimes eight or 10 different towns are represented out of 12 kids. So that's really special and, and unique to this program. The service project component of Sundog is so critical because it brings kids out of their own small environment and allows them to understand the bigger community. To understand that, that open and wild spaces are not something that we should just take advantage of and, and use without feeling a sense of ownership and stewardship for those places. What's also important to us is that students learn the concept of giving back and that being part of a community, being a member of a broader community involves not just taking from that community but giving back to it as well. 